going on guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and Sprint is getting quite the Android lineup. The Motorola Photon 4G just came out on the 31st for $199.99. Now it goes up head to head against another hot Android phone, the HTC Evo 3D. This is the dogfight battle of all time. I mean, I say that in every dogfight video, but this one really is because they're both high-end awesome dual-core devices. One's global roaming capable, one shoots uh, video in 3D, video and pictures in 3D. So which one's the best? Which one's the one for you? Which one's the best balance of features and performance? We'll find out in the dogfight, but first, Special thanks to our gang over at Best Buy. They're so good to us. They hook us up with all these phones, things like this and this, for use in our One Paw Bandit game. So when you go into Best Buy Mobile, you don't pay rebates. I hate rebates. I hate dealing with paperwork. I hate waiting. I hate waiting, period, much less eight to 10 weeks. You don't have to deal with it at Best Buy Mobile. But enough of that, let's get into it. Dogfight, Motorola Photon 4G, HTC Evo 3D. So now that we got through all the Moto Blur, the sense-based stuff, all those differences on the software interface fronts, let's take a look at the browser and a couple of the different you know, apps in these, uh, these various devices. So PhoneDog's already loaded up over here and we'll load PhoneDog, uh, oh, ooh, I can't talk today, PhoneDog up over on this one. And you can see both of these are on 4G right now. It's a pretty weak 4G signal, but I mean Sprint's 3G, and this is something I wanted to talk about in this video. Sprint's 3G has just been absolutely terrible. I don't know what's going on, you know, if it's restricted or uh, kind of relegated to the Charlotte area, but their 3G speeds have been terrible. I've been averaging speeds between 0.10 and 0.20 megabits per second, somewhere around there, so it's been really frustrating. Very, very slow, just a little faster than dial-up, actually. And, uh, you know, I didn't, I can't speak to this one, but I took this one to New York, took this one to Atlanta, and had the same issue. So very, very frustrating. It doesn't seem to be just a Charlotte thing, if you're having those issues, let me know either in the comments or on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron. But anyway, PhoneDog's loading up. And like I said, I'm on a pretty weak 4G signal here, but you can see. PhoneDog's loaded up, pinch to zoom, functionality on the Photon. Very quick, little to no lag whatsoever. Quick and easy to use. And that 4.3 inch display looks good. The transitions are quick and easy. And you can see now with Android 2.3 and this new Motorola applications platform, or new build rather, of their software, you can see the nice transition effects. There's no longer a quick kind of brash back and forth like there used to be. Let's go over here, like you can see, there's the brash transitions that are still in sense. A little bit of a difference there, you know, it's one of those things, I've always said the transition, it's an optical illusion on the eyes. If you can fool people, it can be as slow as it needs to be. And that, you know, does a good job of fooling the, uh, the untrained eyes. So you can see your pinch to zoom pretty quick on this one as well. Both have dual core processors. Pinch to zoom, really not gonna have a problem in terms of browser performance on either of these. But what I wanna show you uh, are the windows on both of these. We'll bring up, you know, separate, uh, second, bleh, second windows. Can't talk today. Second time I can't talk today. So you can see I brought up two windows and you can see I can scroll back over. What I really like about the Sense version is that it shows me a preview over here. So I can see where I left off with Phone Dog, whereas over here it just shows me a text-based thing. I see CNN, I see Phone Dog, but I can't really see where I left off until I click on the various texts. So I can go back and forth between the two, or I can see this nice image. I can zoom in really, really close. Go to, Win not to add bookmarks, go to Windows. And then I can see I left off right there. So pretty quick, you know, pretty easy on both of these, but I really like uh, the way it's laid out on the Evo 3D. That's a nice little, nice little touch. But let's take a look at messaging on these just so you can see the keyboard differences. Now, neither of these have physical keyboards. They both have virtual QWERTY keyboards. We'll jump into text messaging here so you can see that. And then we'll go to messages here just to show you the differences. And then that's what they look like. Now, here are uh, the two manufacturer keyboards. This is Motorola's multi-touch keyboard. This is HTC's Sense keyboard. And you can see the differences here. I have the paperclip where I can add stuff to the message directly from the message there. And I have two different options here. I have multi-touch keyboard or I have swipe. So swipe's your thing. Go in here. I meant to say hey there, but there we go. And you swipe or I can go back to multi-touch and use this. Now multi-touch is my favorite. Android keyboard. This is a close second. They do a really good job uh, and it's really improved in Sense 3.0, but this is my by far my favorite. The Quick Brown Fox is happy. No, that's boring. The Quick Brown Fox is sleepy. How about that? I don't like that's really any more exciting. The Quick Brown Fox is sleepy, and when you turn it into 4.3 inches on both of these, when you turn it into landscape mode, that large display really helps people with large thumbs, much easier to type on. So that's cool there. And then here's the Sense keyboard. Same thing over here. Go over here to add text and go to input method. I have swipe on this one as well. Looks a little different, different colors and the tutorial pops up. 
Uh, there we go. Hey there. So pretty quick and easy to use. And then we'll go back over here to input, touch input. But we'll do the quick round fox. Is ready to go. Quick round fox is ready to go. And this one, really long device. So thanks to the combination of the keyboard and how long this device is, great for people with big thumbs. I'm president of the Fat Finger Club and this device works well for me. So a little bit of an edge to the Photon 4G in terms of uh, the keyboards, but still great keyboards on this one as well. Now you have two distinct benefits with both of these. They're both dual core, they're both 4.3 inch displays. They're, uh, this one has an eight megapixel single camera, but this has dual five megapixels. So if you want the 3D content, the Evo 3Ds, going to be your phone. You want global roaming capabilities with that SIM card slot in the back, the Photon 4G is going to be your phone. The wireless radio is also much, much better on the Photon 4G, which we'll talk about in just a bit. Now, one thing I like about this, like I said, the hub, HTC hub comes on, and I said that in part one. But what did I want to show you? Let's go down here and take a look at Spider-Man in 3D. Let's see if we can load this up just to show you kind of an idea of what 3D looks like. Now, you're not going to be able to see it in the camera, but I'll try to shift it back and forth as much as I can. Let's see here. Uh, no, I don't want to download it. I want to find, we'll just do some 3D pictures. How about that? Go in here and we'll toggle over to 3D. Good. We're on 3D. There we go. Switch it over to 3D and you can see the effect right there of the 3D. And we'll bring it out here and we'll take a picture. And there's the 3D effect that you can see. There, now this one doesn't like the Optimus 3D. This is something I really like. You take a picture in 3D, you wanna convert it back to 2D, you can click a simple button and it shows you the 2D version. You can't do that with the Evo 3D so far as I can tell. Once you take it in 3D or 2D, it's set. So if you have a really awesome family picture, you take it in 3D, you decide you want it in 2D, well, at least on the phone, you can't convert it right out of the gate. So that may be a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a downside to some, but you know, again, you can email it and it should convert to 2D if you email it to a you know, non-3D device or you, you, know, you don't send it up to YouTube 3D or something like that. So 3D content that you can see there. Now overall, the camera quality on both of these is better on the Photon. The 8 megapixel camera, it's nothing to write home about by any means. And it pales in comparison to stuff like the iPhone 4 and uh, you know, the MyTouch 4G slide. But still, it's a pretty decent image with uh, good clarity. And if you're in a well-lit situation like this or you're outside, you're going to have no problems whatsoever. If you get into a low lit situation, or uh, one thing I've noticed about the Motorola phones in general, the Droid 3, this one, the shutter speed's a little bit slower, so if you're in a you know, fast moving situation and you need to take a picture quickly, it's gonna be a little harder to do it with the Photon 4G. Now this one, decent camera, but five megapixels, it does pale in comparison with single shots, but you do get that 3D capability. Let's take a look at Quadrant Standard here. And I wish there were, you know, there's so much I'd love to cover, but I uh, went to move pretty quickly through these videos. So we'll run the benchmarks. Now, call quality on both of these, or at least let me start with earpiece quality. Earpiece quality on both uh, is, is decent. I mean, it's fantastic on the Photon. It's decent on the Evo 3D. You're gonna have no problem with overall earpiece quality on either of these devices. Where the Photon 4G really comes apart, uh, or you know, really separates itself, rather, is in the call quality department. I took this to a Sprint dead spot. The Evo 3D, uh, very choppy, has str you know, struggles to hold the call. This one, on the other hand, gets one to two bars of service. So I mean, it's a noticeable difference. If you live in a fringe area or somewhere where you really need that reception, Motorola is known for their excellent wireless radios, and this one is no exception. The Photon, just a killer in the, uh, the wireless radio department. That said, you know, obviously this one has the 3D, but you know, if you want something, you know, you're in that fringe area or you travel a lot, I uh, need the global roaming, or you know, voice is your primary thing, the Photon's gonna be your device. If entertainment's your primary thing, you want that 3D content, well, the Evo 3D is probably gonna be your device, but I've noticed it has a pretty weak wireless radio, so something to keep in mind. 1,991 over here in Quadrant Standard. Take these Quadrant Standard scores with a grain of salt because it is one benchmark. There are five million different benchmark programs, and this really doesn't take into account day-to-day -day use, but hey, you ask for them in the videos, I love to, uh, love to give you what you ask for. So 1,991 over here, and then over on the Photon, 2,385. So 2,385 over here, 1,991, it's very interesting because this one's actually clocked faster. It's a 1.2 gigahertz uh, processor, but it's a Snapdragon dual core processor. This one, one gigahertz, but it's a Tegra 2. I've always been a fan, I think the Tegra 2 just runs faster. You look at the G2X, very, very smooth performance, and I see a lot of that uh, in the Photon as well. Just little to no lag whatsoever, quick and easy through all the different things uh, with you know no issues or no stuttering at all. So very, very cool there. Let's do a speed test before we sign off. We're gonna keep Actually, let's do, we'll do 3, 3G to 3G. I was gonna say we could keep one on 4G, but we'll do it 3G to 3G so you can really see what I'm talking about 
with these speeds, even if it in if it bothers to load. Say that three times fast. I don't know why I can't talk today. I have to do the greatest tech giveaway ever at six o'clock, and I'll be like, but 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 my name Aaron. Let's see here settings, Greensboro, Greensboro. Let's see settings begin, and we'll see what we can do here. So 3G on both of these devices, and let's see what we get. So you see it hovers around you know 0 0.10, 0 0.20 megabits per second. Actually a little slower over here at the moment. So it's very, very frustrating speeds, and it's very hard when you're browsing a graphics-intensive website or graphically intensive website like Phone Dog or ESPN or uh, CNN, the full version of CNN, the non-mobile versions. It's very hard. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. You know, 4G, pretty decent. I mean, I've seen speeds as high as seven megabits per second in the Charlotte area on 4G, but on their 3G, it's just pretty consistently bad across the city. So you know, just showing you 0.15 over here, 0 0.09. So. Very, very frustrating. Now, this is a dogfight. A winner has to be declared. And, you know, it's tough because if you want entertainment, you want that 3D content, obviously this is the only one that shoots 3D content, shoots 3D pictures and video. You want global roaming capabilities. You want the better wireless radio. This one is going to be the one. Now, battery life, you know, 1,730 milliamp hours over here, 1,650 over here. That said, battery life's actually a little bit longer on the Photon. So it's a tough call between the both. But that one winner has to be declared. I'm giving it to, drumroll please, the Motorola Photon 4G. This is Sprint's newest, best flagship Android smartphone. Just an excellent wireless radio. The global roaming capabilities are awesome. It's packed to the gills with features. 4.3 inch display, one gigahertz dual core processor, eight megapixel camera, Android 2.3 out of the box. It's really badass, pardon my French there, but it's really an awesome device. It goes up against all the high-end Android devices on the competing carriers and really gives Sprint a nice little run for its money. Evo 3D, awesome as well, and really this is a great pair to push Sprint ahead in the wireless game, but that said, you know, this one wins thanks to the wireless radio, the global roaming capabilities, and combination of features. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with both of these devices, so keep it locked on the site. In the meantime, be sure to check out our greatest tech giveaway ever. In 30 minutes, actually, I'm getting ready to uh, do the greatest tech giveaway ever. It's every Tuesday, every Thursday at 6, and you enter to win by liking us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash phone dog. Be sure to click on that sweepstakes button and check it out. Be sure to like me on Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash phone dog AB and always on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron. Hit me up with questions, comments, thoughts. Let me know which one you think is the best at phone dog underscore Aaron. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.